Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than five minutes. Several weeks ago, we briefly talked about oral semaglutide or ribulsis when we discussed the current concern surrounding the Wagovi shortage. And although it's currently not approved for weight loss, there's a lot of buzz surrounding the hope that it soon will be. And its clinical results for weight loss have been promising. But remember, you can't always believe what you read unless there's science to back it up. So today, I'd like to talk about oral semaglutide, the current clinical studies surrounding its efficacy for weight loss, and things to consider with oral weight loss medications. So what is ribelsis? Now, we've talked about ribelsis before. It is the oral version of semaglutide. It contains the same active ingredient as Ozempic and Wagovi. Now, because all three of these medications have the same active ingredient, they work the same way in your body. After you eat a meal, semaglutide helps to lower your blood sugar by mimicking a gut hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1. This causes your pancreas to release insulin and blocks your liver from releasing sugar. It also slows down how quickly food leaves your stomach. This makes you feel full longer and suppresses your appetite. All of these things together lead to weight loss. The most obvious difference between the medications is how they're taken. Wagovi and Ozempic are once-weekly injections, while Rebelsis is a pill you have to take by mouth every day. Like Ozempic, Rebelsis isn't approved for weight loss, even though loss of appetite may occur. Currently, Rebelsis should only be used to treat type 2 diabetes. It's also important to remember that Rebelsis comes in 3mg, 7mg, and 14mg strengths. Only patients taking the Ozempic 0.5 milligram dose for type 2 diabetes can switch to Rebelsis. And like Wagovi and Ozempic, Rebelsis can cause similar stomach-related side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation, just to name a few. So what do the clinical studies show? A 68-week study with almost 670 adult participants reported an average weight loss of nearly 15% taking oral semaglutide of 50 milligrams daily. The placebo group, on the other hand, lost about an average of 2.4% of their total body weight. Now, this is similar to the results from the largest Wagovi trial that had about 2,000 adult participants, which showed about 15% average weight loss within the same time period. So what are things to consider? The first thing would be higher doses. So the Rebelsis doses studied for weight loss were 50 milligrams daily. Currently, like we mentioned, Rebelsis only comes in three, seven, and 14 milligram strengths. So the manufacturer does plan to request through the FDA an approval for the 50 milligram dose if it is in fact approved for weight loss. What about convenience? So the tablets must be taken first thing in the morning with no more than four ounces of water. You also must wait 30 minutes before eating, drinking, or taking any other oral medications just so you can absorb the rebelsis fully. Now, initially, injections may seem scary, but with some practice, giving yourself a shot under the skin really can be painless. Often, the needles that you use for a subcutaneous injection are as thin as two strands of hair. So I'll ask the question, would you rather give yourself a weekly injection or remember having to take a pill every single day? The other thing to consider is heart benefits. So Rebelsis is great for people with type 2 diabetes who don't want to give themselves an injection. However, unlike Ozempic and Wagovi, the injectable forms of semaglutide, Rebelsis doesn't have the same heart-related benefits that lower your risk of heart attack and stroke. In fact, studies have shown to lower the risk of death due to heart problems in certain people by 26%. The other thing to consider would be medication interactions. So with Rebelsis, it has been shown to lower the absorption of levothyroxine, which is a thyroid medication, by 33%. So you'll want to make sure to let your healthcare provider know if you are in fact on this medication and to show your full list of any other medications that you may be taking so they can check for potential drug interactions while you're taking Rebelsis. The last thing I really want to address is cost. 
So the average cash price, which would be without prescription insurance of Ribelsis, is about $1,100 for 30 tablets of either the 3, 7, or 14 milligram tablets. Now, although this is lower than the average cash price of Wagovi for weight loss, which is about $1,500 for four pre-filled pens, the price tags on these weight loss medications really don't come cheap. And that's really important to remember because without the help of your insurance, a lot of these weight loss medications are just really out of reach for so many people. So I just want to make sure that people understand that I don't anticipate that the price of for the 50 milligram Ribelsis tablets to be much better. So it will likely have a similar cash price of around $1,100 to $1,500 for 30 tablets. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. You can find out more information about semaglutide on our previous podcasts. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.